The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday, the 29th of April, last day of the month, the last training day of the month. Wow. Been all over the show. Had a spectacular rally yesterday. Uh, up 700 points at one time in the Dow. Dow's now down 49 points at 32,867, <clears throat> off the low of the day. We'll see where I, I just see. You know, the, the I, I just thought of this. Uh, the the cliffs of the wait. Where is it in Cornwall? You know, the the film with Paul Dyke. Any of you ever watched that? And they have all these incredible scenes of the ocean, the rough ocean. I grew up where there was a really rough ocean. Sea Point uh, as a, as a preteen, uh, Sea Point, South Africa, uh, in Cape Town. That is. Uh, right on the coast, you could actually see a Robin Island from my my bedroom window, um, and uh, this is what we're looking at right now. You're looking at you can't really see the tide because there's so much surf, and as a result, these huge swings. Look, look at the candles that we've got here. Yesterday, a move of uh, low of two two forty eight. A high of 425. So, uh, sorry, a high of, uh, so that's, uh, yeah, a 700, uh, over 700 point move. Um, two days before that, it was about a 600 point move, and a day before the same thing. So, we are seeing so far on the shorter term. At, from that peak E top in the Dow, 35,492, where I drew in strong at 35,372. That was the high of the 28th of March. And then the retest, uh, that was on the 19th of 20, 21st of uh, April, uh, a higher high with much weaker technicals. Now we've come down very sharply, and there's an attempt at a rally. But basically what we're looking at at this particular point, lower highs and lower lows. So the short-term trend is still down. What's really important, one of the reasons why yesterday for subscribers I said, we're going to be buying, we're going to have two entries into the Dow Diamonds. We're also going to buy um, the, the three times long QQQs because there should be a rally. Uh, that's what we're banking on. And there was a fantastic rally. We took a little bit of profits off. But at the same time, I need to see how we unfold today because this is the move that resembles very much the end of March where we're looking fantastic going just before the end of March and then all of a sudden from the high of the 35,372, the high of the 28th, we had those uh, one, two, we had two sharp down days and that said, oh, oh, that changes the candle. So that's why this is very important. Now the Dow is down 118. So these, these, this, this white water, this thrashing about, hitting the rocks and then bouncing and having waves coming back from the from the rocks, almost the same speed to the to the outside as the, as the ocean tries to, the tide, the bigger tide is trying to come in, but the smaller tides are getting. You're getting riptides, basically. And that's kind of what we're looking at. So the most important thing right now is where we close. There are, there are buyers, end of the month buyers. There are, let me tell you, there are a lot of into end of the month and beginning of the month sellers these days. For the last three, four months, we've been seeing that. So now I can answer the question um, in this in this today, in this Tiger Technician's Hour, uh, Chapman Wave, more thorough uh, look at the technicals based on that methodology that we always do on a Friday. So let's just finish up here and say, look, the S&P, the candle so far is really not good in the monthly chart. It really looks like we're making a kind of a dreaded H. What's the dreaded H in the Chapman methodology? For those of you new to my work, let me just show you here. This is the dreaded H. You learn these patterns, these three patterns. It can get you, you put it together with, listening to the hosts here at TFNN, to their different techniques, 
just when Larry says to me, oh, I'm I, you busy talking about that, and I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing my A, B, A to B equals C to D all over the show, and I see my Gartley's, etc. cetera. Um, it's the same thing. So you're looking at three major moves, a straight line move, up or down, that's number one, a cup formation, in other words, you're going from one point down, it could be a V-shaped pattern, and back again. How you treat that left side high is very important. You're looking at an arch formation. You're going from one level up, and then you come back down. Then you get the combination of, in this case, one and three. It's called the dreaded H, because if you come straight down, you rather you only get your peak A or B. And look at the Dow. You made a peak A minus there because it failed in the H pattern. You made another A minus there, it failed in an H pattern. You made another A minus right there, failed in an H pattern. Are we going to do the same thing here? That's the big question. And if you if you tossing a, a coin, heads or tails, um, you can keep going. You know that at some point you're going to get the opposite, but it doesn't tell you how long you're going to have heads or tails showing. And in in the in the marketplace, there's something very different because although you're looking at statistics, <clears throat> what you a, what you're able to do, uh, as opposed to looking at the thumb of the person flipping the coin um, and watching them very closely, in this particular instance, you've got all these different technicals. So in the Dow, uh, we looked at the, uh, at the Dow price. Look at the technicals. Look how far away the 200-period moving average is at 4,401. Look at the doji candle that was made three days ago and the big candle that closed above it yesterday look at the action so far today but look at the macd turning down sharply yet the histogram the little vertical lines are trying to come back nicely look at the stochastic only at 15 percent very weak yesterday it was what did i say it was i think 12 percent or something um, and the on balance finally made a w formation uh, with a very strong move yesterday, holding okay today. So far, those are all the signs that you look for, for at least a near term, not a short term, but a near term, meaning days. Turn around to the upside. We'll see if that's going to hold. Um, most importantly, is you've got into Chapman Wave inside track, propellant zone right there. And it worked because it, it held to the bottom line. And the green is the propellant line. Red is the, pink is the outside breakdown line. <clears throat> and it said, look, so far we've managed a bit of a rally. The day is young. Let's see what happens. Wait a minute. Remember I was talking about the patterns that we look at? Those three patterns? Look at this. Uh, look at this. So the H pattern become really can become very bullish. And first of all, I want to say in the dreaded H pattern, if it fails at an A or a B, only one peak or two peaks high and then turns down, rolls over. <clears throat> Invariably, you're going to test and probably break the left side low. Not if there's a C or a D because you can come back, maybe test the low, but that gives you tremendous support because you've already used up uh, the, the weakness to go upside. You use some of that energy on the upside, so it gives you support on the downside. But this H pattern can become very bullish if there is a turnaround like a U-shaped pattern, like that pattern. And there is a close above the arch high. So we have things to look for. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, Technical Friday, Dow's down 126. We want to talk about a lot of things. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. So let me just wrap those up. I've got all these questions coming in. It's enough talking. Let's get down to the liquidities. We're looking at the IWM down 29 cents, 190.17. Uh, yes, that was a really nice turnaround yesterday. Um, how we come out of this, this coming week, is the first week of May is really important, but it's in a downtrend. There's no question about that. Oh, I didn't finish the QQQ. QQQ at this particular point, I believe I got, it says, a long, and we are still long. We're going to take some, we've taken some profits uh, in the position. Um, it's down 4.64, 3 to 3.40. The selling pressure that just came in. I, I, at this point, I don't think we can repeat what we saw yesterday and we've seen it other times. We've used up the upside a couple of times and now the selling pressure between 10 and 11 Eastern time, that's going to be really important. And the numbers, if the Dow down at the 33,642 level, the S&P now down 52 at 42.35 uh, today. I'm not sure any there'll be any successful, anything other than a bounce off lows. Uh, it doesn't look like that at this particular point. So the QQQs need to hold just on a purely technical level for the MACD and the stochastic at 13%, not good at all. Uh, it's starting to close under 319 at, on any 10-minute uh, bar today just says, wow, just be really careful. Now, let's do something else. So I want to show you this is the gold. We discussed this yesterday. A couple of people uh, asked me the questions to follow. I did a very thorough analysis on the JDX, and it was a fantastic uh, call that I had yesterday by John and Philly. He had gone long at about 42.22 or 26 or something like that, just just off the low. And it had a fabulous close. And then today it's got a very nice candle. What I had said is I've got this three, my own three bar rule. Everybody has three, <laughs> has a three, evidently a three bar rule about gaps. But the whole thing about it is how does it close above the gap, the bar that made the gap low? That high, how does it close or if it closes above it? Uh, um, uh, Tommy Jr. has a great show starting off at 9 o'clock here at TFNN 
Mark at kickoff, he discusses a whole bunch of things within the context of the fundamentals as well as the technicals. But what he mentioned was uh, a stock TDOC, and TDOC got smashed yesterday. It went from a peak D, remember the fourth highest peak in the chapter wave, we're always looking for that, went from a peak D back at the end of March, around uh, about the 78 area, and it kept making lower lows and lower highs, and then it had this huge gap down yesterday and was trading on the 27th of trades with a low of 55.82. Hmm, has a little problem because the high of the 28th was 34.40. I, I would say that that, you know, from the 50s to the <laughs> to the 30s is a pretty decent drop. But wait a minute, look at the candle today. So there's uh, evidently, um, Tommy said that Kathy Wood, Woods or Woods, was buying um, TDOC. We're adding to a portfolio, something like that. That's not the point. The point is, how does the stock react? Well, if you look at the stock, the candle high yesterday was 34.40. So far, the high is 35.85. So I, my rule of thumb is that if there is a close, if there is a move below the low of the gap down bar, that's usually not very good. But if it closes above that low, at least it's okay. Closing below says, oh man, and not even, not even people who were caught short, flatted, flat, flat-footed, um, uh, could you know had a chance, and they, it just went even lower. Um, in this particular instance, we've got to watch that because you are now above. If there is a close above today's high, then you have three bars from this level, that's today's level, to see whether or not the open and close of this particular bar, which was at 31.56, that was the open, and the close was 30.51. And I say, I usually like to look at, the, the on, on a gap down, the higher of the, of the two at first, if there is a close in the next three days below 3156, is that the high? Yeah, 3156. No, that 3156 was the open, the close was th uh, 33. Yeah, sorry, it's the high one. Below 33, get this right. 3351. If there is a close below 3351 in the next two sessions from today, that would say that you've got to be careful because it could retest the wick, the low. But if there is another, a second candle on, in this case, Monday, that is higher than today's high and a close higher than today's close, that says that there's a really good chance that th th there was an exacerbated move to the downside and that there is still enough room to at least you can't fill this, this gap unless there's something spectacular. That, unless it was just an aberrational out, uh, uh, comment that was made that just knocked this thing flat. If that's the case, then what we're looking at is <clears throat> within the context of this particular pattern that um, that's something very different. As it stands right now, in the traditional sense that I look at it, MACD is terrible, stochastics flat at 9%. And whatever the move is today is going to be incorrect if there is a close on Monday but below today's low. And that is 32.27, and the day's young. If intraday closes below that, that's even more important. So this is a, a little bit of a bullish sign right now. But there's a lot of work to be done over the next two bars. And if you look at the uh, uh, GDXJ, the difference is that those three bars, you made lower lows. And then you had a very good candle. And today there's a rally attempt. But the, the, it doesn't matter what it is. The GDX is exactly the same thing. The big thing about the GDX is it went right to the 200 period moving average. So I can look at this in a very different way and say, aha. 200 period moving average, just look at it historically, just pull this back, and look at this. It was at some point, uh, over the over a period of just going to October of last year, look how it was absolute resistance. It couldn't it couldn't get above, and then it couldn't break and hold above at 3508. Back in November, it went back under it, then it tried again, hit that level exactly. Uh, January, this is the uh, January the 20th, 2022 pullback and then making higher uh, making a higher low 
it starts at 2887. The stochastic starts to rally strongly. The MACD turns up. It starts to build. Look, the nine goes above the 14. And all of a sudden, the GDX is looking great. And it, it, it hits the 200 period moving average, stops, goes once above it, can't hold it because the next day it's below it, tries again. And that's the session that says goodbye. And it went all the way to 40.26 on the 8th of March, pulls back to 35.67 in the dreaded H pattern. A successful move because within two days it gets above the left side low and it goes peak A, peak B, C, D, and E at 41.67 and it comes straight down. Now, I didn't get to talk about this yesterday. It was a really important point of note and for some reason it just I overlooked it. The sharper one comes down. Remember, on the upside, we use the chapter wave notation. Very, very, very strict about that. It's, it's absolutely imperative. On the way down, I say I use other techniques, but I always have the lettering going straight down sharply. The leg A is usually, that usually concludes a major part of the downside thrust. I'll be back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Let me just do this really quickly. I, I, I had a question about, I'm going to get you some questions. One is about LAC, one is about MRPL. I'll get to that. One is about, uh, where, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go? Uh, Qualcomm, we'll, we'll get to these. So the dollar is in leg D. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking from identifying the lowest low bar, counting each, each successively higher peak, alphabetizing them A through G, but it's at that fourth highest. There's never an H. It's A through G. It's the fourth highest peak where other things can happen. We can have the sharpest decline. We had that from the 5th of uh, January um, Dow uh, all-time high. And that was it. Uh, anything can happen. 
but it could also recycle to the upside. Don't want to get into that right now other than to say, look at this, you've got your leg D, maybe a peak D today in the dollar, but the MACD is strong, it's still rising, the stochastic's flat at 92, I love that, there's nothing wrong with that. On balance volume is flat because this is, it doesn't have volume, this is the uh, dollar index, and what you're looking at is the relative strength is doing very well. And then you get this weekly chart, left side, right side, price, time match, beautiful thing goes, it's a work of art, it goes two bars, two months later, and it breaks the 102.99 high that was made back in 2020. And uh, will it close? Remember my whole thing about these cup formations and arch formations is the closing price. And what does it do two bars after that? Well, so far at 103.20, it's still above that. The day is young, the week is young, the month is young. We have to wait until four o'clock, anything can happen. And now what we're looking at is the EUR, USD, has done the same thing. Look at the plumb line right there, the left side from 1.0664 uh, back in uh, late March of 2020, runs up to a peak D, a second buy mode, goes to a D, doji candle high, pulls back, makes a V-shaped recovery. This, remember, I do the, I'll do this now, I'm not going to keep it there. This high and that high, there were two differences. What was the difference? That at this high, look at the MACD and look at the stochastic, how fantastic it was. Look at this one, how it was failing. Just a bad sign. So this is the low, I'll, I'll keep this and I'll change the color, the green. This is, make it some other color, make it blue. So this is your plumb line. And look at that, the number of bars to the left and the number of bars to the right Two weeks later, it breaks, it smashes the 1.064, uh, and we go to 1.05248 right now. I hate those numbers, it just drives me nuts. Five digits, give me a break. All right, and look at the MACD and the stochastic. Stochastic said 10, it's still very negative. The nine period is way under the 14. Look at a beautiful indicator, that is the pink line. Negative, 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 still negative. So this makes it really important if you're looking at the USD JPY, and that is the currency pairs. Look at this. Uh, in the FIB expansion, leg F in the weekly chart, the monthly chart is a little bit different. This one goes back further, and it shows you the left side, right side, price, time match. I chose that midpoint there. And this one is one month late. And here we are in leg E to the upside, in the US dollar Japanese yen currency pair, um, breaking above left side high. That's really important. Look at this. I just wanted to show you something here for the dollar. This is the double cup formation. Look at that. There's the U shape. There's the second U. That's how you get a double U. Um, 103.82 was back in 2017, goes to 88. We've been long since April of 2018. The dollar goes to almost 103, pulls back to 89.21. And here it is, having hit 103.67. So you can see this is exactly the area that you got to watch closely because it's a big green candle, and we've got the whole month of May. If it makes one penny, point, in fact, if it goes one penny above whatever the high is for the month of April, it extends leg C. So to get a D, that means it's almost like the S&P. Let me show you the S&P. And that's the only thing that says to me, Somehow, some way, after this huge consolidation, bear market in some cases, um, there should be still a leg C above 48.18 in the um, in the do in the S and P. Just like in the dollar, there should be a leg D to the upside because in the Chapman wave buy mode, once you get to a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, invariably 90 something percent of the time you'll get to that D. And this says there should be a leg D still to come higher high in 2022. And the SM, I don't believe I can say this under all the bearish news, but this still says this is a huge consolidation taking time. So far, not so much price compared to the other consolidations. It looks almost like that one over there that was back in 2019. September 2940 was the high in the S&P down to the 2340 uh, six level. Uh, it was uh, back in December. Remember that December smash when the Fed was talking about higher rates. So uh, that's what we're looking at. I wanted to do those things. And now I want you to go to the question that came in LAC, which is, 
once upon a time we had this is lithium america's corporation lithium project projects in argentine the united states 40.39 was the april the fourth high the peak d uh, pulls back goes under the 200 period moving average for three sessions today as well and then what does it do it closes well it hasn't closed yet but it's pulling above it and now you've got your left side right side match this is the vertical match or the vertical test that i do 4156 december of 2021 a very strong the peak d huge macd stochastics fantastic before it turns out on balance volume gives you the turnaround and then what happens it pulls back to the 22 almost cut in half rallies back to where 40.39 less than a dollar and a half from the all-time high and now it's pulled back sharply so the question is is this a time to start uh, maybe a nibble and all i can say is that in the spectrum of all these different byproducts these, these products that are really important to battery operations to all sorts of things that that, that apply to the economic infrastructure regarding energy use some form of energy yes i like it longer term i like the fact that it's in a rectangle i like the fact this, this is a rectangle right here i like the fact that it's gone to the lower part of the range and that it should start to move very soon towards the midpoint of the range so what i would say to you is i don't know if this is the i haven't got a good indication that this low is a low of consequence right now but there are enough signs to say that if price moves higher from 20 6.58 the high today is right at the pink nine period exponential moving average if by tuesday there's a close above it then 28 26 becomes the 14 period moving average target so i'm going to say as an overnight risk i'd be a little careful so yes a nibble to get your foot in the door because it has given a nice green candle from yesterday it tested the 23.72 low of the of 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 March the 8th, it went to 24.02. Uh, so that's so far successful in the arch, the, like the H pattern. So that is a good sign. But yes, I would only put my foot in the door. And it's one of those cases where, <clears throat> where would I put a stop? I'd rather get back in if taken out then hold and say, I'm right. You don't know if you're right. So I would get my foot in the door here at 2671. Personally, I would have a stop. The 200 period moving average is 26.29. That's a 50 something. It's about a, uh, yes, I, I would say I put, I put in the door right here, but I would definitely have a stop at 26.20. I just treat it as a trade right now. Next question was, uh, Marvell, this is Marvell Technology, a very, very fine a semiconductor, almost the same type of pattern. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, down 379, S&P's down 65. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So we're looking at Marvell technology. I believe that was a question. The question really pertains to um, the semiconductor area. And they've been leaders in their, their field, um, and they've gone from a high uh, in the 76s, uh, most recently, but actually the high that we're talking about was 93.85 December the 8th at a peak E, and it pulls back, and it just, every rally has failed. It did get to a peak D from the 58.84 low of the uh, 14th of uh, February, went to a peak D, doji candle, did the arch formation, did a successful test, bounced to a peak A and then a B, and then what did it do? Boom, it goes to a lower low. And now it's got an A. Now the question is, you see this, you see the MACD is very close to turning up? This is the reason why I thought that there was a good chance yesterday that some of the very oversold semiconductors could actually manage a rally. And this time there could be a rally that holds a little bit longer um, and that makes this very important because uh, with this move from the low of Wednesday at 56.57, it's gone twice now. It's gone above the black 14-period exponential moving average and closed below it. And now it's closing uh, just, well, it hasn't closed, but it's slightly above the pink 9-period moving average. I think it's a little early in the semiconductors. I've been negative the SMHs since it made the day. It actually made the top. Uh, regret having not someone, a couple of people have said, sometimes we have difficulty short in getting the stocks to short the SMHs. So I thought, oh, let's do something else. I should never have done that. I should have said short right there with a seven-point stop. That would have been fantastic the day, the 22nd. Of, no, it wasn't. I, I tried there and then I skipped it. But then what happened, that big rally that was in December, going to the double top of three, three the double tops have been unbelievable. At 318.82 in November, early November and the 318.62, uh, 69, uh, pennies away from the previous high, double top. This is the dreaded H pattern, but on the downside, uh, on the upside, meaning it comes down. So look what happened, it pulls back. And look at look at look at it goes all the way to 242, tries to rally peak B minus again, fails, keeps failing, goes to 237, rallies to a C minus, and then goes to the most recent. So I, it's still very early in the whole chip sector as far as I'm concerned, but it is maybe in the two third stage of the move, and this is where you can see at least a bounce that holds a little bit better. But I have to tell you something. I don't know. You just asked me about it. And I'm just going to say to you, I don't think I would get into anything other than a real short-term trade, uh, almost like LIT that we were, LAC we were looking at uh, for um, our Tiger uh, TV uh, question. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with you. At 60.60, .60, all I would say is I tiptoe in here, 60.55 as we're speaking. It's really struggling. Um, on Marvell, 
I wouldn't expect anything other than a bounce and a reach. It could actually go sideways again between uh, the, the 56 level and the 63s for quite a while. Um, but they're getting closer, I think, to a major buy. But closer means if you're only two thirds into the into the consolidation. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, and Qualcomm, your question as well. I think added Qualcomm. It's almost in the same position. It looks great, but um, this is a little bit different because I think this is uh, the pattern from the top is a little different. But at the same time, at 144.40 right nine right now, I probably would say to you rather do an option. I'm, in fact, I'm stepping aside from Qualcomm and Marvell to say, I'm going to give it another day. Let's come back to it on Monday or Tuesday. I need to see how it closes and how the general market closes because um, I will need the SMHs to start leading to the upside as the market is starting to pull back. Is this the start of that? I don't know. But yesterday's action said to me, watch them closely. So I think you're in the right area. So, yeah, because you're in the right area, I'm going to say if you want to just nibble on, on, on Marvell, that's, that's fine, or even Qualcomm, but treat it just as a, a, an attempt at trying to find a base. That's how I'm doing it right now. So that's that question. The next question I had was, would I look at, oh, the VIX index? So, yeah, the VIX index, see, this is so fascinating to me. The VIX index is up today, up 51 at 30.50. The fact that it's held in the 25 or higher area this entire week is saying to me, fund managers, these, this is big money. This is the way I interpret it. Big money is holding the VIX index up because they are very nervous. And as a result, that's the reason why for subscribers to my opening call, we've kept a, a very high position of cash around because there are going to be wonderful buys coming up. I'd rather have cash. I don't care about inflation. Believe me, having something that goes down 30 percent, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent inflation on things you can choose to buy or not or wait for the sales. Um, this is it's something completely different. Cash is king. It's really important. So the VIX index is saying to me, and you can see it. Look at look at the rising trend line. How the lows are higher and higher. The highs were higher and higher to the 38.94 high that was back in February. But now what we're looking at is when you consider all the different aspects that are are, are, are negative right now, uh, inflation. Uh, crude oil up 107 crude oil. I mean, if you're looking at anything that says these are the factors that the market usually worries about, any one of them would be a factor. Interest rates. Look at the TLT. I haven't even mentioned it today. The TLT down 75 cents again. Is it time? Maybe we'll show this because tomorrow I'll, I'll do a more detailed thing for my my overview for my my weekly overview for subscribers to my opening call. Look at this. Um, and this is going to be a very interesting month, May, because this is the month in May where I usually find May going into June that there are areas that were just decimated that are starting to find a summer rally. And that's where we're going to be looking at. Look where the yields are. Look at this. The, pain, the, the cyan is the five-year FVX. The brown, purely covered right now, is the 10-year and the white, which is absolutely covered, is the 30-year. So yields, uh, we made last week, we made a high at a leg D. This is going to be a peak D in the cyan-colored one. That's important. That's the five-year. But look, wood, the iShares Global and Timber Forestry ETF is still holding in the rectangle formation for a year now. It's stuck in that range. But look what happened to the HGX, the Philadelphia Housing Index. Not breaking down, but turning the lowercase h, the dreaded h, into a, a dreaded y. The reverse y, where you've had the double top with with left side much stronger than the right side. And now you're underneath that, that uh, border of the rectangle. Um, and that just says... There are things going on here that you've got to be respect. You've just got to respect it. And as a result, um, I'm I'm being very selective. Yes, we nibble back. We went back into a gold stock this morning only because there's a chance that the dollar starts to pull back. But it's a very low priced one. I don't want too much money going into anything on the long side right now. Um, it's we, we've been whittling away, putting tight stops in so that we've got this nice cash position 
I think that's important. I did not look at high grade copper. Chris came in. What about copper? I, I don't. Th I think copper's in the area, like the work that I shares global timber forestry, which has held well. High grade copper's in that big rectangle in the weekly chart. The daily chart says this is the fifth fifth week that I've gone underneath the 200 weekly average. So I think copper's saying, eh, be a little careful. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, let me just, I'm just having a quick look through here uh, about questions. Yeah, there are questions I've answered actually through the other other uh, areas that I've been looking at. I've answered some of those questions. I just wanted to say, so the FXI, which I've been bearish on for a long time, uh, this is the this is the China big caps. This is a large cap ETF. I made it. Look at this. I remember I talked about this. I took it away, but I'll put it back. Remember, I said the left side high of the January 2018 at 54 round number high. Um, uh, this is F FXI. And then the retest within, I mean, 54.33. How many times have we seen? Remember the double t bottom with uh, Microsoft at 70, round number low, 70.77, then it had a bounce. Well, look at this. This is the top, 54 back in 2018. February of 2021, 54.33. And look at that failure right there. Look, look at the technicals. Magdi's way lower. Stochastic uh, couldn't hold 80% and went under. Unbalanced volume gave you a perfect turnaround. And I just be careful. I don't think, yeah, big bounce. Great. It's up 5% today, up $1.61 and 31 Just be careful. We've got enough troubles here. Why would you want to be going to China? That's all I can say. Okay. Now, a couple of things. A question about the VIX. I'll go right to the VIX and say, if at any point from this very minute that we're talking about, just like I said yesterday, as we're talking, I said, this is the moment that, that there has to be a rally and it has to be sustained. Today, 
I think we've kind of run out of time. Uh, for, for us, we still have a, a, some positions uh, on the long side in the trade. We're actually out of the QQQ trade altogether, uh, took a profit, we're out. Um, now, and and uh, now what we're looking at is at 30.43 in the QQQ and the VIX index, if after, because it's, it's the end of the month, I'm going to make it a little later, at 3.10 this afternoon, if the VIX index is higher than 3.75 and holding, that's going to put tremendous pressure on the general market. If the VIX is start to spike, it gets under 30 and it's holding nicely between 2 o'clock and 3.10. As the market tries to come back, that'll allow the market some freedom to accept a rally into the close. I'd love a rally into the close only because of the monthly chart in the S&P. We'll talk a lot more about it by subscribing to my overview uh, video. Uh, that will be out here in the morning sometime. Have a great